This is Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the Seventh Amendment. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had mentioned that um, in uh, in suits of common law. Yeah. Amendment number seven. Yeah. <laughs> right to trial by jury. <laughs> Uh, where the value in contra uh, controversy shall exceed $20. Yeah. <laughs> the right of trial by jury shall be preserved. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but amendment number six is the right to speedy trial, witnesses, etc. All con criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial <laughs> by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law. <laughs> And to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, <laughs> uh, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, <laughs> and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Yeah. <laughs> now, I never waived my right to, to speedy trial. Yes. In fact, I, I had emailed my public defender. I said, well, could you explain exactly what speedy trial means? And... Uh, I want to have witnesses that I uh, was at uh, AA that morning or I was at the library or these types of things. But then I'd actually thought about something else. What was it that I wanted? Oh, I wanted to know why it was that there was a protection order issued against me that the petitioner didn't sign. Yes! And uh, as a responded, I wasn't served. Right! <laughs> now, I had emailed my... <laughs> my uh what's his name my def uh a public defender my defense counsel yeah uh and I, I wanted to know about speedy trial and then they said well he waived his right to speedy trial i was like no i didn't <laughs> i wanted to have the trial on the 4th of april yes <laughs> now it could be a defective process when you really think about it yes <laughs> now i know maybe giving Bruce Hannafy a nice bottle of distilled white vinegar <laughs> might clear his memory. Hoo -hoo! <laughs> now I know Harry the Fish over there, he might like to have a bottle of distilled white vinegar. Hoo -hoo! <laughs> and that old witch that was using Bruce Hannafy's email address. <laughs> you know, there was a prosecuting attorney that had emailed me using my public defender's email address. <laughs> In fact, if I went through every communication from Bruce Hannafy, I asked... Uh, ask myself, did Bruce Hannafy actually ever email me or anyone else? Ow! <laughs> now, I know there's this thing about typing through somebody else's body. Pow, pow! <laughs> but uh, I noticed the differences in writing. Oh! No! <laughs> in fact, I, I thought Judge Porter was on me at one point, and maybe he'd like a bottle of white distilled vinegar. Fuck off! <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's on the house. A couple bucks. <laughs> Now, I know that my my right to speedy trial was not waived. In fact, it's the exact opposite. I sent an email wanting my public defender to explain that. <laughs> then I wanted to investigate every person involved in the issuance of the protective order that didn't have a petitioner or didn't have a respondent. Yes! <laughs> now, for some reason, I never seemed to get any emails from my actual public defender, Bruce Hannafy. Yeah! <laughs> seemed like somebody would kept using his email address to communicate whatever they wanted. Well, we'd like to have you in the court. The uh, judge would like to have your presence there. <laughs> I emailed them, well, what should a citizen respond when a judge requests his presence? Yeah! <laughs> now, you would have thought that somebody in the judiciary, <laughs> maybe in King County or one of these sheriffs in different counties. Oh! <laughs> in fact, let's get ourselves a nice truckload of white distilled vinegar and <laughs> start handing it out as a free drink. Oh! <laughs> Might clean you right out. Boom! <laughs> now, I know I emailed a lot of judges in King County. <laughs> I emailed the Supreme Court of Washington State. <laughs> I emailed every elected and appointed person throughout the whole nation. <laughs> you know what? Let's just get ourselves a few semi loads of white distilled vinegar. <laughs> Now, when I have a compulsory process to get witnesses in my favor, and I'm kind of one of these types of guys that say, well, I'd like to have the commissioner explain why he signed the document. I'd like to call Heidi Budnick to the center. Can you explain why you didn't sign this? Ow! In fact, can you explain why I wasn't served? Ow! In fact, can you explain why my right to a speedy trial was, was violent? Ooh! In fact, could you... Can you explain my, my, 
You know, could somebody get every email address from Bruce Hanafy's email? Ha! And find out who the fuck it is that was typing his emails. Who? Because somehow I think they were violating my right to defense counsel. Ho! Oh!